Hey guys, Kevin Z here. Welcome to this week's edition of Wi-Fi Wednesday. Sorry for getting started a few minutes late and also sorry about this Zoom complication. If those of you who are trying to log into the Zoom for some reason, I think it's because this Zoom, I keep extending it. It's been like almost two years now for the same meeting and uh, they've kind of like cut me off in the time zone even though it's still valid until 2020, it's not letting me start it up. So anyways, I'm just going live directly on Facebook here. So thanks everyone for joining this week. I'm going to be brief. Um, I'm a little jet lag still. I just got back from Europe. I was away last week. And I just want to say for those of you who are in Europe or those who are, even if you're in North America and you want to target Europe or South America like Mexico or any area that is really a sunny slash, you know, uh, I don't want to say exotic, but like remote destination in a way where you have tourists like the idea of Wi-Fi in tourist areas blows away any local business. Not you know, not to say that there's no opportunity in small but restaurants and bars in your own area, but if your area happens to be a tourist area, then you should get out there and blow it up. Because I can tell you now, there are so many there's so many opportunities for you know for specifically tourist Wi-Fi for anywhere that there's tourism, anywhere that there's people roaming or coming with their laptops or iPads or phones and using the Wi-Fi is just absolutely massive. So that being said, that's my, my two cents from Europe. Uh, and I just want to let everyone know that we are now officially Cisco Meraki partners. So we got that approval earlier this week. And I just want to share the link with you guys and show you what that means. So right now, if you go to the Cisco Meraki app marketplace, uh, you'll see that they have a whole bunch of trusted partners. And this comes right after we did our new integration with them. So right now we have a two-click or three-click integration to uh, provision Cisco Meraki access points directly with the My Wi-Fi platform. As you can see, this is on apps.meraki.io, and we are listed there as far as uh, all the benefits of our platform, all the features listed, kind of showing the overview, um, why use us with Cisco. Um, over here as well, we have a whole bunch of screenshots. And then down here, for those who are interested, I actually have uh, a video, a uh, shorter version than I presented to you guys two weeks ago. Uh, but this is the one that's now on YouTube and it's officially on the Meraki Marketplace. You can watch this short video to see exactly uh, you know, why uh, and how we integrate with Cisco Meraki and why that's a big benefit to you and why you should really get on that. So uh, I'll share this link in the group, but if you want to find it, it's apps.meraki.io and uh, that's we're listed there right now. So that is uh, good news for this week. In addition, uh, moving on, we uh, with this partnership, obviously it's a quick integration and we allow you to integrate now Cisco Meraki access points with TripAdvisor, with Square, with Stripe, um, with all these big partners that uh, people work with anyways. We also uh, launched our OpenWRT firmware. For those who joined us previously, you know uh, how big that is. Uh, we now work with a ton of different uh, access points all over the world. I'm gonna jump into the platform right now. I'm gonna show you a couple things there because it's best to speak to that directly. And for those who are wondering what OpenWRT firmware means, it's uh, if you are in a area where, for example, you don't have Cisco Meraki or you're not working with any large uh, Wi-Fi access points and you want to have your own hardware, then uh, this is what you're going to use. You're probably going to just go to your local electronic store and pick up an OpenWRT compatible device. So once you log into your system, how to find that, um, go under Devices. And then on the top, click on Add New Device. You select the location to assign that to. And right over here, you click on Open WRT. And here you can see all the different manufacturers that we now support. Specifically, one of the most globally and wide reach brands is TP-Link. So go on TP-Link and then find the exact model number uh, in addition to version number. Make sure they all match up. And uh, for example, the Archer C60, uh, the C7 is a great device. Uh, you know, the CPE are also the enterprise grade devices. The 3420, the, that's the small device. The 3020 as well. So, I mean, if you're wondering where to get devices or do you have to buy devices from us or do you need to work with major Wi-Fi access points, this changes all of that because now you can literally just go to your local electronic store. Um, even on Amazon has most of these devices, so you can just go search for the exact model number. Uh, and specifically, there's some really high powerful devices. I, you know, I, I see a lot of people asking that you know the devices you buy from us, max 15 users, that's a suggestion. Sometimes you can have more than 15 simultaneous users on that device. But if you need something that's a bit bigger and you don't want to have to uh, deal with Cisco Meraki or any of the really expensive access points, uh, D-Link has some really good devices. And you can even just see over here, you copy that, 
hop on over to Amazon. Uh, go to .com for the, our American friends. And usually a lot of these devices are available on Prime. So if you are, are in a jam and you need a quick device that can handle you know, a ton of users, go in here and search for the models that are available in your area. And uh, I believe there we are. Oh, I'm sorry, I actually got the wrong one. Here, let me, let me pull up the one I was thinking about because um, it's a really, really good device. I actually don't think it was a D-Link. I think it was a Linksys. Yes, my bad. This device specifically, if you're looking for a like a real, uh, real powerful device that's available on Amazon that you can like handle like I would say a hundred or more simultaneous users, depending on obviously the you know fifty to hundred I would say is safe. Uh, this is a great device actually. Cisco bought Linksys, so this is like having a Cisco device without paying a licensing fee. You know, obviously you add it to our network, you install the firmware, and this is a, a wicked device that will come to you in some cases uh, same day. So you can check this out. Every Amazon store or every electronic store in the world is different. So as you go through here and look for your OpenWRT devices, make sure that it all matches up. And for those who uh, have Ubiquity and want to have more of a, um, or want to add presence analytics, for example, um, to Ubiquity, that Ubiquity doesn't currently offer out of the box, but if you install an OpenWRT firmware and use our firmware on it, um, that'll be enabled on all of these devices here. So if you have any of these devices, you can follow the instructions. Usually there's... Um, you know, instructions on how to do that with Ubiquity or on YouTube. There's some step-by-step, -step. every model is different again, but we give you all the firmwares directly through here when you add your device, for example. Right over here, we let you download the firmware for this specific Ubiquity Air Router. So um, that's obviously a huge game changer for those who uh, deal with multiple devices, but if you uh, just need devices quick, obviously, um, you can buy from Amazon or you can buy directly from our store. So this is are the devices that we currently have in stock. Uh, they can handle, like I said, we rate it at 15 simultaneous users. Sometimes you can have more, um, but it's a great little device. It's in the palm of your hand. Um, you can see it over here and you can connect this in three different ways uh, by cable. So directly into your internet, which most of you will do. For those who have like uh, bus installs or food trucks or have like a 4G LTE modem, you can plug in a USB modem into the side of this device and turn it on, uh, or you can tether it as well. Okay, so this is the device that a lot of you guys should be using uh, if you're targeting local businesses, small businesses. And in fact, I have one right here with me and I'm gonna just uh, share my screen or share my camera. And what's up guys? Got my, my Raptors uh, shirt on here today. So this is the device uh, right there. In the back, it says guest hotspot. So there's no mention of my Wi-Fi at all. This is a sticker that I have here. The sticker does not come uh, included with the devices when you get them, it's just on the one I have on my desk. Um, but you put your own sticker on there, so it looks like it's your brand. Uh, on the side here, you have your WAN and LAN port and your power. Um, this is USB power, right here, USB power. So you can use um, any external battery or any um, you know, USB plug, plug it into a computer, a POS machine, a back of a TV, um, any power works. Uh, over here is the USB side. Uh, this, for example, is a 4G modem. You can see it right there. And if you snap up at the back, you can plug in a SIM card right over there. Okay, so you can get SIM cards. Usually, um, Verizon or other plans lets you add on additional SIM cards and you can share all the data. So you just get another SIM card and plug it in right over there. And then you take this and you plug it right in to the device. And that's it. You can actually use a uh, you know, cigarette lighter in your car to power that over there. And then once you do that, all these lights will go on. You'll have a fully wireless remote hotspot using this SH50. Okay, so that's that option. Another option is actually tethering your phone. So I wanna see, I don't think I have an iPhone. Yes, I do, maybe you do. iPhone cable over here. So this is how you uh, tether it with your phone. So I have my iPhone right over here and I have this device right over here. You plug it in, and I also need some power for this. I wasn't ready to show this demo, but I can show you exactly how the tethering works. Um, power this device up. You simply just use your uh, manufacturer cable, ideally the one that came with your device, if not you know, one that's certified to be work, used with your device, and you just plug it in literally like that, and it will take the data from your phone and share it on this wireless device. So that's the uh, tethering option. That's the third option here um, that is available. 
and uh, really easy to do. And these, again, I should mention are like perfect for any small business, local business. And here's all the instructions on how to do that. They are $39. And if you order more and spend more than $99, you get free shipping. So that's pretty cool. In fact, we might have taken away the free shipping, so my apologies. Uh, we do have free shipping in certain areas, but it, shipping costs have gone up significantly over the years. So um, now you can just get them for 39 bucks. Pretty good deal. All right, so that's that on the firmware side, hardware side. I also want to mention that we did recently translated our entire platform to Spanish and also now French. So if I jump into a location over here, and let's say uh, the Burger King in Paris is a great example. You can see here um, what these stats, even if you notice like even the, you know, the charts themselves, the dates, pay attention to that. Look at the uh, actual guests online, uh, all the side menu. If you go to settings and then go to general, you'll see that we have Spanish. This is in Spanish. And then we also now have French. So uh, as you create sub users for your clients and you want to give them access, and if you speak French, this is perfect for you. Uh, I created a post inside the Facebook group to vote on your next language. Our next language is actually going to be Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese. Uh, and then after that, we are open to other suggestions, whatever makes it at the top of the list. So uh, I'll ping that uh, thing in the Facebook group. So make sure you go vote there and let me know exactly uh, which languages we should do next. But that's French, and uh, like I said, we're going to have all the languages eventually, but we're going to be prioritizing them. And uh, probably I'll pick the next five, the next top five, and we'll just do them all. And I uh, hope you guys will all be happy about that. Like I said, vote for the languages in the Facebook group. And if you have any questions at any time, please chat with our support team, uh, wifi support.com, or ideally when you're logged in, just chat with our team on the right hand side. We also have great support articles at support dot mywifi.io or inside your platform want to mention uh, right over here if you are as an admin you log in at the top over here we actually just switched the location of branding so branding used to be uh, down over here but we realize branding is probably something you're going to change uh, once probably not more than once and if you do it's always available here but now it's on the drop down under your main menu and then within branding we changed a couple things here as well we now allow you to submit a, uh, your control panel and your social portal as two separate setups. In addition to white labeling, this domain is no longer uh, .mywifi.io. Um, that's your direct domain. If you want to just not white label it, you can use that. Otherwise, uh, you can now forward your CNAME to this. And once you map it all up, it is a 100% white label, untraceable platform. So people will see, you know, if they want to look up your domain name and see how, where your platform is hosted, they're going to see Secure Wi-Fi Cloud. And I'll also see secure Wi-Fi login for the portal. So no mention of my Wi-Fi anywhere there. We as well have our API key and secret key listed. Uh, and everything here is now it's just been uh, tightened up a bit, making it much easier to use. And uh, one final thing as well, we have links over here to support. So if you click on support, we have a great support desk for those of you who haven't checked it out yet. Uh, everything is you know well documented. If there's anything we're missing, please let us know. We'll be happy to make an article or a video about it. And uh, I also want to mention I have planned a ton of new training coming up. So automation training, Zapier training, um, different training on how to do what messages and when, email, SMS. We're releasing our MMS option soon, so you'll be able to send picture messages automatically. Um, that's a little sneak, you know, that's a little tease. Um, we hope to launch that real soon. Uh, but once that's all ready, I'll be going through a ton of training that'll really go through it. And uh, that all is available inside our academy. Uh, this is going to be launched here very soon. But the academy, if you want to go direct, is academy.mywifinetworks.com. And this is a, a new free academy that we launched that has a ton of good training, that not only for you, but any reps, sales reps that you're working with. If you have like a, a you know, you're hiring somebody new, tell them to sign up here. It's totally free. Uh, once they sign up with the academy, they'll be able to log in and get access to all of these courses totally free. So how to sell social Wi-Fi, how to close your first sale, how to sell to hospitality or hotels selling to restaurants, uh, getting a blueprint for social media consultants, uh, selling to businesses without existing Wi-Fi, selling to businesses that have Wi-Fi, and post-sale. Those who haven't checked this out yet, this is a new one, the post-sale ste steps to customer success. Uh, this will really talk about, you know, those asking how to upsell. You know, we start in the intro on this end. So we teach you exactly, you know, 
these are the steps. You got to set up, onboard, nurture, set up the marketing automation, handle your customer support, work on customer retention, and then upsell. Okay, so we go through every single one of these in fairly detailed format where uh, it's easy to follow and you can use this as a baseline to train your sales team. Again, the link there is academy.mywifinetworks.com. All right, well, thank you guys so much again for joining. I'm going to get that Zoom link figured out soon, but uh, for now, this replay is on Facebook, so I hope you enjoy, and we'll talk to you later. Take care, everyone. Talk soon.